In this video, we're going to see how we can install Flowwise AI with the help of Docker. Flowwise AI is an LLM application builder that can help you build uh, chatbots easily with only a drag and drop interface. And uh, this is a very powerful tool because you can create various AI agents that you can deploy onto your website or to your application. And you can uh, create various flows also with rag and uh, things like that. And this is their website. I have already an installation with uh, Flowwise AI. And in here you see that at the end of this, you will self-host this onto your own domain or subdomain. And uh, this is their interface. And in here you see that you have the left side where you have the menu. In here you have the chat flows that you can add. And in the right side you have an options to change the dark and the light mode for this. Now let it dark for, for this. And in here you have, a, for instance, a marketplace. And in here you have some flows already created that will help you deploy some uh, agents and the uh, LLM uh, chatbots. Yeah, you can choose from default ones if you want to get started fast. And in here, for instance, you have the things that they're uh, using. So for instance, you see here that is, this one is using OpenAI and uh, is querying the, the net to get the latest responses. You have one for uh, cloud and uh, so on. And let's go and create one. And in here you see, for instance, that I have one already created. This one, it's an, an, a simple flow that it's using the Grok API to create uh, like a chat button. For this, I've added a prompt in here that will tell it to be a YouTube expert that will create title for my videos. This is linked with LLM chain. We're going to see how we can build this simple one. And for instance, in here, if we're going to test this one, you'll see that you can ask the a question and from for instance in here i have asked the question to create a youtube title for this uh, specific video and uh, it is very fast because it's using the grok api which is fast and it's just uh, sending you all the 10 titles that you can use for this video and if you want to build this from from scratch let me copy the model name we're going to go and create one and in here for instance you will go and hit the add new and in here you have the interface and in here you have the plus where you will have all the options that you can choose and add for your flows so in here for instance you have the llms ones so you see in here that you have the other llms that uh, are out there right now. You can use the OpenAI one, you can use the Olama, you can use the Olama one that is self hosted. The Google, if you go to chat models in this area, you see that you have the one from Anthropic, you have the one from uh, Mistral, you have the one that is self hosted, the chat OpenAI one. And uh, for this test, we're using the Grok chat one, and I will just drag and drop it in here and this is the interface and in here you have the connect credential so you will need to create a new credential with your group api I already have one and in here i will just uh, insert the model name and the model name for for this is the mixtral one in here you have the options to set the temperature for for this and after you are adding your uh, LLM, you will be able to use the chains. So in here you have the chains that we're going to use and I will just use a simple LLM chain for this. I will drag and drop it in here. And in here you see that you need to link to this, the language model. And to do that, we're just going to do it like this. And then you will need a prompt template where you will tell the agent how to comport. So I will add the, the prompt for, for this go and check the prompts and in here you have the prompt templates you have also the chat prompt templates but for this i will just use the prompt template and i will add it in here let me make this thing smaller okay put it in in here so in here you can add your own template you can launch the hub and choose a template from from here so you see in here that you have models and you can choose the prompt template that you want for your uh, chatbot but in here for instance I will just tell it that uh, you are a YouTube expert that likes provide YouTube advices how to grow channels on specific subject. And in here you can add your um, your variable. So to add a variable, you just put it like this text. You can put whatever name you want. And in here you have the format prompt values. And in this area for the text one, you can edit it and you can 
use the question. So basically this will uh, link the template with the agent that we are going to create. And right now you need to drag and drop this. Like this. So right now if we are going to test this chatbot, we can go in here and in here we can type a question. Let me save this first. Test flow and let's go and ask a, a question and uh, I want to grow my YouTube channel that is about the ops. And in here you see that you will have the response and uh, in here you will see that uh, it will tell you how you can grow your YouTube channel. You can customize this in the way you like it. This is just an example and you see that this is very fast. After you've created your chatbot, then you have some options in here to share it. So in this area, you should that you can em embed this in any website that you want. This is a pop-up HTML that will be displayed in the right side. And you have some advanced configurations that you can choose in here, for instance, to customize the colors, prompts and things like that. You can use it in Python if you want, like this with requests. Again, you'll have some configuration in here that will help you link this to Python. You can use the JavaScript. You can just go in curl and just run the chatbot with the question and it will provide you the, the answer. You can share this chatbot if you want, for instance, like this to make it public. And then you'll see in here that you will have the interface for this and you just pop your question in, in here, like uh, now the pops. And again, it will show you the things that you need to, to do to grow your YouTube channel. So in here you have some options to control the access on this uh, chatbot. So you can create a API key for this or use the default one and uh, you can add a new key if you want in, in here. You see that you can add your API keys in here and the one that will access this, it will be only the ones that uh, have this, this key. In here you have also some other options. For instance, you can view the messages for, for this. So you see in here that these are the two messages that were asked on this chatbot. You have other configurations that you can uh, you can do, for instance, in here, you can limit the usage and uh, things like that. You can allow domains only for this. So this is a very powerful tool that will help you build uh, chatbots for your business. You can use this with RAG. There is a YouTube channel that it's uh, just uh, telling you everything that you need to know about Flow Eyes. I will let the link in the description to that channel so you can follow in case you want to learn more about Flow Eyes. And in this video, we are going to see how we can deploy this uh, Flowwise AI to our Docker so we can use it uh, in our uh, business. So in here, I have already created an article that will help us do, do this. So basically in here, what we are going to have, we will have a Docker Compose file. And in here, what we are going to use for this, it will gonna to, we are going to use Postgres to store the information in the database. And then we are going to deploy Flowwise. We are going to check all of these things and how they are working. And for helping me with this, I will use the DogJ because it's uh, simple to administrate everything. And uh, let's get going and see how we can deploy it to our Docker container. In the second area, I have also created a container that has uh, the backup for the database. If you want to be backed automatically, you can also copy this. So you can make backups for your database in case you are using the production one. So in here, I will just copy this Docker Compose file and we are going to go and see exactly what this has and uh, how we can deploy it. So you can also use the Docker Compose commands if you want. And in here, I will just put the name for this. So easy and in here, I will have the Docker Compose file. And in here you have the Flowwise database. It will use the Postgres one, you have a Postgres DB name, you have a user, you have a password, you have a volume with the data that will be stored locally. It will restart automatically unless it's stopped. And in here you have the health check options for this. So to be checked when this is up, then we are going to use the Flowwise 
image and this is the OI's default image is using the latest stack. You can use the exact version if you want. We have the option the, to, add, to add the command. So this can, can start. You have the container name. I set a host name. I've checked. I have added a health check in here. And in here you have the ports. So this will be working on the 5023 port in the VM. And this will be the port that will assign the applications to start in the container. In here I have the volume and it will be in the folder with the Flowwise AI and it will point to the root Flowwise. And in here you have the environments parameters for, for this. I will set the debug to, to false. I will add the port. This will be added in the ENV. I will add the Flowwise username and the password that it will be used to access this Flowwise. And in here you have the database path, the API path. These are the default things from their documentation. And in here we have the database type. You have the default port, host name, Flowwise DB, that it's just added in, in here. You have the username, password, and the restart on failures. And this depends on the Flowwise database to be up. The next thing that we are going to, to do is to add our environment variables in here. So to tell the exact things that we need. So in here, I will just add the environment variables. And in here, I have the port. It will be the 3001. I have the Postgres user. You can change this as for your right likings. I have the Flowwise username and the Flowwise password. Only the ones that have the username and password to be able to access this. And right now, everything should be set. And what we need to do is to save this. And we are going to start it. So right now it will pull the images and it will start the application for, for us. And you'll see in here that right now this is just uh, starting everything. The database is starting and right now the Flowwise application, it will start. This will take a couple of seconds up to a minute or two to, to start because it will need to recreate everything in the database for this to, to work. We can wait and see when this is up, how we can access it. Okay. So right now this is healthy and we can access this directly if we want like this. So you see in here, I will be prompting for a username and the password, but this is not using our server IP with the port that we've specified. And to add an SSR certificate and link it to a domain, we're going to use the Cloudflare tunnels. So I already have in here Cloudflare tunnel set up for uh, this test server that I have, and I will add a public host name to this. And you can use a subdomain or you can use a domain in here. And in here, I will just use the flow eyes and I will link it to a domain. And in here, you have the service type, it will be HTTPS. And in here, we have the local host with the port. And it was the 5023 port. And right now, we just hit save. And when we save this, right now, uh, Cloudflare tunnels have uh, created a uh, subdomain for this and we can access this securely. Let's go and access it. So you see in here that right now this has been created and uh, right now you can go and uh, do your uh, chatbots in here. I am already logged in on the previous one with Bitdoze, but no one can access this without the username and password that we have set in the Docker Compose. So right now you can go and start building your chatbots and uh, take advantage of this powerful tool that can help you customize your chatbots in the way you like. I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you like what we have seen, I will ask you to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for, for watching. I will let some videos in, in the end that will help you deploy various applications with Docker and Docker Compose.